look, we're dangerously close to destroying ourselves. With our current methods of producing energy, oil, natural gas, and coal, we could be environmentally past the point of no return in about 50 years. It's time we did something. But what? I propose we try nuclear fusion, a nigh-limitless source of a whole lot of power. Unfortunately, this has been out of our reach for about 50 years, but we can get there. Now, by learning. To understand fusion, we must first understand two base concepts. What is a plasma, and what are nuclear forces? Once we understand these two things, we can look at what happens next. When atoms get really, really hot, they lose their electrons and become what is known as a plasma. In a plasma, the nuclei of atoms float freely from their electrons. But what about nuclear forces? Well, there are two of those that we want to look at. There's the strong force, and there is electromagnetic forces. First, let's take electromagnetic forces. The electromagnetic force is very simply the force of two like charges repelling each other, or the force of two different charges attracting each other. In an atom, these are the protons and the electrons. But if like forces repel each other, what is keeping the nucleus together? Well, that's where the strong force comes in. The strong force is the force that holds the nucleus together. To understand the strong force, we must first accept that the total mass of an atom does not equal the sum of its parts. The missing mass, or the mass defect, is what creates the strong force in an atom. This may seem outlandish and confusing, but the equation is incredibly famous. E equals mc squared. In the case of the strong force, m is the amount of mass that is missing, e is the strong force, and of course, c is always the speed of light. So, the plan is this. First, we get two nuclei to collide. Then, the strong force takes over, smashing the two nuclei together. Finally, the nuclei release an amount of energy equal to the strong force. So, how do we get the nuclei to collide? They won't if we just leave them in a room together, because of their electromagnetic repulsion. So, what do we do? We get them moving really fast. So fast! that their own velocity overcomes their magnetic repulsion. So, once you make a plasma hot enough, you will have fusion. All right, well, now that I've done all the heavy lifting, you go on and figure out how to contain this process and make more energy than you lose heating up the plasma. Thanks for watching, and best of luck.